Hello everyone, thanks for checking out this video. Welcome to my channel, Me and My Jackets. My name is Chris. Today we are talking about the Arcteryx Cerium LT. Okay, um, here it is, right here in this little bag. This is, this is what is so amazing about this jacket and what makes it pretty unique, okay? Um, this is a down insulated winter jacket that's really pretty warm. Um, and it's in this little bag. It's about nine inches long and about four inches wide. And here it is, okay? This, this is what makes this jacket um, great for backpacking, hiking, you know, mountain adventures, all right? Because you can stick this thing in a little bag, you can throw it in your, in your backpack, and, you know, away you go, all right? Um, this little bag, little um, sack, comes actually inside the inside jacket of, I mean, sorry, the inside pocket of this jacket. Um, so we're going to take a look at this jacket. Um, we're going to try it with some different shells and we're going to compare it to the um, SL, the Cerium SL, just briefly. Um, we're going to talk about, you know, the way it fits and you know some of its features okay so here it is okay we're all stuffed away in this little little sack it's pretty amazing <laughs> okay um, fluff it out put it on and you've got a nice warm winter jacket all right so the really cool thing about this coat um, not only the fact that it can really um, you know, pack away into a little a little bag. Um, this is the non-hooded version. Okay, um, there is a hooded version as well, and the hood is really nice on it. it. Is a down insulated hood, and it fits really nice and tight and close to your head. Um, it is not a helmet compatible hood. All right, so it is definitely um, something that, uh, you know, it's just made to pack away really small, really lightweight, and, um, you know, carry with you. Um, it is an 850 goose down jacket. It is nice and warm. But the thing about this jacket that also kind of sets it aside from all the other Arteryx down jackets is that um, I, it fits rather trim, rather tight, okay? It's not tight, but it fits um, trimmer than any other down jacket that I have from Arteryx, all right? I have the Cerium SL, which is basically its lighter weight little brother, okay? I have a Therium AR, which is uh, a heavier coat, and I have a Cerium SV, which is even heavier yet, all right? Um, of all these jackets, this one is definitely the trimmest fitting. Now, it's not tight, okay? It fits really nice, but it hugs a little closer than any other um, down jacket that I have from Arteryx. Um, the reason for this basically I think this is basically meant to be worn as a you know a mid layer an insulation layer with pieces hard shells soft shells whatever over it so they don't want to make it too baggy and bulky right we want to keep it nice and trim and form-fitting and and it's exactly what this is this jacket is so comfortable and light it, it's really a great jacket um, I bought the non hooded version simply because I have the hooded version in the SL in the Therium AR and the Cerium SV so I just wanted one without a hood. And I actually like, I like this a lot because a lot of times I really don't need the hood, right? So we're just, um, you know, wearing it as a jacket, okay? Um, under a shell, under a hard shell, under a soft shell, stand alone, it's great, okay? Um, now I will just briefly throw on the Cerium SL, which is the super light version, just to show you the difference in fit. Um, it too is a is a trimmer fitting jacket, but it has a little more room in it than the LT. All right, so just so you can see see the difference, um, 
Again, this is basically the same kind of coat, just um, it's lighter weight, little brother, okay? Um, so this is it. So this too, I mean, it is a trim fitting jacket. Now, um, Arteryx used to call their jackets either trim fit or regular fit. They've recently changed it. Now they're regular fit and fitted a fitted fit okay so I mean you can see this jacket as well it does fit really nice um, there's a little more room underneath this to layer a little more okay um, you're not putting heavy layers underneath this this is not going to go over you know a Proton LT very well this would fit under the Proton LT or you know under a, like an Atom AR or something like that okay um, so back to the LT. The thing with the LT that, I, I mean, I, I really like this jacket. For me, even though it is a trimmer, tighter fit here in the body than the SL, um, it's still a puffy jacket. And it still is, for me anyway, at the limits of a, you know wearing this under a soft shell um, I have here my gamma LT all right now if I put the gamma LT on over top of it it will fit okay it does fit um, it's a, probably about the heaviest thing that I would want to put under this uh, Gamma LT. Um, if you look, my arms, the sleeves and the, and the Gamma are pretty much totally full, okay? So anything thicker and heavier than this LT, this Cerium LT underneath it, um, is probably going to be really restricting and tight. Um, and the body here of this Gamma LT is hugging the cerium lt underneath it okay it fits it's comfortable okay it's okay i just wouldn't want to go any heavier so you know for me again the cerium lt is about the heaviest layer that i would look to put underneath my gammas okay um, this is the gamma lt now the gamma mx is cut as a regular fit and it's just slightly bigger it gives a little bit more room so I do have a little more space in the arms here okay you can see there's a little extra fabric so the difference between a fitted fit and a regular fit um, does make a little bit of difference um, when I zip this up right I mean, it's fine. It's great. I have plenty of room. It's, it's perfect underneath. But again, I don't want to put anything much heavier than this Cerium LT under my Gamma MX either, okay? My favorite piece under this Gamma MX is my Atom LT. Um, but anyway, that's in another video. <laughs> okay, um, but I just want to kind of give you an idea of how puffy, like, you know, this Cerium LT is, all right? Now, putting it under a hard shell, no problem at all, okay? This is a Beta FL. Um, I am six foot two, 210 pounds, and everything here is a size extra large, okay? So, you know, without question, a size extra large, hard shell is going to fit over a size extra large insulated jacket, okay? That's what they're meant to do. Hard shells are actually cut a little bit bigger so that they have the room to fit over layers, okay? So this is great, right? This fits really nice. There's no problem here. Um, now, a hard shell is important sometimes to wear over a down jacket simply because the down jackets do not like to get wet, all right? Um, what makes a down jacket so light and warm are the feathers, the down feathers inside. Now, when the down feathers are all fluffy, okay, 
all that air gap in between the feathers is what holds in the heat and keeps you warm. If those feathers get wet, they're just going to clump up and stick together and form a little mass of mush, basically, okay? At that point, you've lost all insulating value in the jacket, all right? So we don't want to get these wet. Now, a um, DWR coating is applied over the outside of this jacket. So that makes it water resistant, okay? Water repellent, um, but not waterproof. All right, so in a light rain, a light drizzle, the water will bead up on this and kind of run off. You can easily just brush it off or shake the jacket, you know, and, and it will come off. Um, but we don't want to be out in a soaking rain or, you know, any kind of rain for a, a long period of time because eventually the water will start sinking through this and getting your down feathers wet. All right, so that's where a hard shell is awesome because a hard shell is totally waterproof, windproof and waterproof. All right, so this jacket here um, does have a combination of insulated, I mean, um, down insulation and synthetic insulation. Um, the areas of this jacket that are more prone to get wet they have put synthetic insulation into, all right? The shoulders, all right? The armpits, underarms, um, the ends of the sleeve, and I believe the bottom of the jacket, as well as um, the front of the, well, if you have a hood, all right? If you have the hood, you have a part that comes down around over your mouth. And that as well as synthetic too, because when you breathe, there's a lot of moisture condensation that'll build up there, right? So um, it does have what they call mapping. Um, so it does have some synthetic insulation in the areas that are more prone to get wet. Um, however, you know, I wouldn't rely on that take a hard shell with you if you're wearing this and you know it's going to be raining, okay? Um, so, lightweight, okay, the outer face fabric is a very light um, 10 denier um, nylon. Um, it's not the most rugged, tough, abrasion resistant material um, that, you know, that's made, okay? It's made for lightweight. Okay, it is fairly wind resistant. It does a good job at blocking the wind. Um, and it is durable enough, okay? But if you're gonna go out and you're gonna start rubbing this jacket against rocks and branches and stuff, it's probably gonna rip, all right? Um, you know, you gotta be really careful with it. But under normal use, right? Wearing it, you know, under your shell, um, hiking, um, you know, winter sports, whatever, you'll be fine. It's plenty tough. Um, the other thing with this jacket, um, the zipper, okay? The zipper here on this jacket is really pretty fine and it's a pretty a lightweight zipper, all right? Um, definitely <laughs> not as thick and heavy of a zipper as say like the Thorium AR, um, even like the shells, okay, the Gammas, they're all a heavier, thicker zipper. Um, this one is pretty thin, so my first reaction was, boy, this is a thin little fine tooth zipper, um, you know, and I hope it lasts. Um, but I gotta say, I, I really trust Arteryx in this. They're, they're choosing these zippers here for the pockets in, in the front because it's lightweight, okay? Um, I really think that it'll be fine, <laughs> all right? I mean, it'll do the job. It just kind of struck me right off the bat that like, wow, this is a thin little zipper. But uh, I, I get it. I see why they're doing it and I, I believe it'll be fine. Um, I really do think, you know, if Arteryx knew that it was a, is a junky, really thin zipper that was going to break, they wouldn't use it, right? Especially, you know, for the price of these jackets. 
Um, now the cuff on these sleeves, okay, inside here, it does have like a rubber band kind of thing around it. Um, so inside the cuff here, there is a nice little stretchy like rubber band that holds the, the jacket, seals it tight to your wrist. Not tight, but seals it to your wrist so that, you know, wind and, and cold air is not going to blow up inside the sleeves of the jacket. So that's a nice touch. Um, it has two pockets here on the side. They're nice deep pockets. They're, you know, nice, nice decent pockets. The inside of the pocket is basically just nylon here, you know, between my hand and, and, and my body, just a piece of nylon. All the insulation is on the outer side. Um, it is a nice warm pocket, however. And there is the pocket here inside a little chest pocket inside that holds that little stuff sack that's attached inside there. Okay, so nice, you know, nice little features here. It also has a little drawstring on the bottom, all right, that you can, um, once you zip up, you can pull the string and it'll tighten up and cinch up around your waist to keep some of that cold air out as well. All right, so yeah. Um, <laughs> That should give you a good idea on the Cerium LT. All right, really nice jacket. This is a color, it's a couple years old. It's called Proteus. Um, it's basically a silvery gray. It's kind of cool, kind of goes with everything. Um, but uh, lightweight, packable, um, sorry, packable, <laughs> and um, a lot of warmth, okay? It's not the warmest jacket in the world. You're not gonna go out and wear this thing when it's, you know, 15 degrees outside. Um, but uh, definitely as, as like a, I wanna say, probably in the 30s, right? Uh, 30, 40 range um, temperature, this jacket's great. Um, wear it worn underneath a shell, um, you know, when doing activities, it's gonna hold a lot of heat. You're gonna be warm. So it really depends on what you're doing as far as the temperature range, but it's not a super warm, you know, heavy down jacket, okay, to be worn in extreme colds. Um, it's lightweight, packable, a lot of warmth for its weight, and um, all around just a really nice, comfortable jacket. All right? So I hope uh, you liked the video. You know, please hit the like button. Um, subscribe to my channel. I've got a ton of stuff, a um, ton of videos here on Arteric stuff. And um, hopefully um, we'll see you again soon in another video. So take care. Thanks a lot. Bye.